everyone, and welcome back to City Skylines, the one hour a day build in our town of Lifstra. With me, your host and insane mayor, Zerberus. I honestly don't even know what we were doing last episode, so I'll just grab a sip of whiskey cola, start the timer, and yeah, let's get to it. Cheers. So, 60 minutes timer, and there's the Twitch chat. Wonderful. So, let's get going. We obviously still have a huge amount of businesses that are going to be tearing themselves out. That is to be expected, because we're still just missing quite a bit of population. We still have quite a bit of residential demand. This has actually come in nicely. I think we really will need to start putting in more residential, basically. This obviously can't be residential because we have that waste fence, waste facility there, but we did already lay this out last episode. I'm starting to figure out where we were, that's good. Obviously we'll let it run at three times speed. Any major issues other than those? Not really, we're still earning money, no educated workers, one dead person. So we're actually running so well that those are actually our only two things. Not enough educated workers and not enough workers. Huh. No place for goods every so often, but yeah, one shop with no place for goods, we'll live with that. Birdsong, gar Birdsong Gardens? Isn't that like one of these crossing parks, so to speak? Birch Hill, Laurel Meadows, Holly City Park, Ivy Hill, Sycamore Grounds. No, wait a sec, Birdsong Gardens, that's, that's up in... Yep. So that's actually just leveled up. That's interesting. So what do we need? 1100 entertainment for the next level. I think we will try to get that. Let's just go for that first. We have a plaza over there. We have a chessboard over there. A climbing frame maybe like right here next to that plaza. What's this? That's that trampoline park, exactly. We'll put one of those on the other side of that plaza. When and if we ever get that far. A story on gazebos. They actually have quite a few. See if we can't do something with policies. Celebrate, night tour. Yeah, we'll... We have the money to toss in an advertisement campaign. That's not really going to cause us any grief. So we have 937 out of 1120 that we need for the final level. So... And another high value asset. If we can find one. Uh, I don't really want to add more gazebos though. There are kind of like enough of those. We do want to add more trees. Add 150 of these climbing frames. So, you know what? We'll put one over here as well. And maybe drop the trampoline park in, like, right here later. And here we'll just do them back to back. 1078 out of, out of 1120. So, we only need, like, one more gazebo or something like that. And this is sorted. They have restrooms, info, cafes. We add like an outside gazebo. Uh, not a good idea necessarily, but we'll add one right here next to the entrance. That may even actually already push us over. Yep. Excellent. Now we'll actually go in. Add those trees that we were just talking about. 
Once again, sticking with our two standard styles, so to speak. basically just gonna say if we haven't already that these are just the trees that actually grow locally here that's gonna be the explanation we're going with and not just for this park residential zones, yeah, eventually we'll get over to that, don't worry. But we want to finish this park first. Or at least make it clear that it is a park. And not just like, your mama's walking path. Getting there. Oh, it's just a little bit bigger than we hoped it would be, but yeah, every so often the tree will go off the rails. That's just the whole thing about nature. dealing with a little bout of the flu, so please don't be completely surprised if I ever so often wind up coughing. And I do assure you I'm wearing a mask even though you probably shouldn't be able to get sick through my monitor, but safe as sorry. No, I'm kidding, I'm obviously not wearing a mask right now, because yeah, that would really be kind of pointless, because as I just said, you're not going to get sick through my monitor, so... Please simply ac accept the fact that I do social distance when I'm not at my PC. Just assume that I'm not lying to you. That's actually a pretty safe bet. Coffee. Fuel of the modern economy. The age old wow, I'm, I'm starting to realize I actually have, have a few, few gripes open with other people because I was actually about to go off on a tangent there that I really shouldn't have, and so I'm actually glad I didn't. <laughs> this is about city skylines and not about what some dumbass thinks is good for my private life. And by some dumbass, I unfortunately do not mean me. But again, long story, different gripe, different day. We can talk about that in a just chatting or randomly playing World, World of Warcraft stream if we want to. So, yeah, exactly. Well, let's get back to this. Of course, as you can see, I'm just dropping in trees, generally more or less overall, just to, yeah, make this a park. Can you work your way from lowly horse to be the we may actually real estate empire? Can you spend your Can you work your way under the fence? Drop a clearing here in the middle. We'll actually tile that then with our park tiles. Uh, park and plazas. Where are the tiles? This is deep. 
deep thought. Welcome back to the deep Earth's channel. So, and what we'll do, we'll just have a main plaza, like in there. Mm, we'll turn that though. Ninety degrees. Because that'll put its road connection over off to the side where we need it. Park path with decorations. So we're gonna want to undo snapping. Undo that. Should actually be enough for this plaza to have its connection. That does appear to be the case. Oh, excellent. We'll go back to our tiles. Our tiles, thank you. Oh, we won't put one in there. like a slightly larger plaza, toss in like some food trucks or something like that. Obviously we want some trees as well around it. Once again our two good old standards will do just fine. Especially since there are already some trees in that area. Fine. So now I'll get back to our park. Grab a few props. Like kiosks and things like that. Nice cream truck in here as well, if I remember right. around the side. Bench or two. Maybe a trash can. Mix it like each of these. Picnic tables, exactly. Add some trash cans next to those. Lights. Make sure this place is lit up at night. Oh, so the other one was actually facing the wrong way. probably ever going to use any of this, but... I'll we'll just flip that around 180 degrees and be done with it. Oh, so Birdsong Garden is actually going to wind up being our first level 5 normal park. That's kind of cool when you think about it. So, what's the story on our industry area? Are they actually getting anywhere? 190 out of 452 workers. I think we need 350 to finally hit this level. So, we're getting there, but arg, it's taking forever. Act, it's taking so much forever. We are gonna toss in one final 
chunk of high density residential back here. back in here but at least for the time being it's just not going to be the solution that lets our industry survive. Uh, I'm truly sorry to all these people that built houses in here but please move. And yes we're only going to say it with please one time. Oh wait a sec, these can actually stay low density. Sorry about that. here on the inside we're just going to turn into high density we have massive residential demand anyway but i think this is going to do us a solid while not causing so many people to go in that we all of a sudden wind up with unplayable frame rates and things again well, not again, we didn't ever have unplayable frame rates per se, but the slowdown from 250k was palpable. And that's why we ixnade that. Now well, we're just going to have some high density back here on these cul-de-sacs instead. Was to be expected as they're just instantly coming in. Just out of curiosity, what's the visitors per week on the cathedral? Oh, 23. That's okay. We basically just threw that out there as a semi attraction anyway. You know what? I think I'd like to pop maybe a train station in here. A little commercial zone, low density in here, and turn this into a residential area. That'll also help feed them. They're also hurting for workers for the most part. Not nearly as bad as our. Um, yeah, they're not hurting for workers any, anywhere nearly as bad as the forestry industry is, I'm going to assume. Ah, 282 out of 1,305, so actually this would also be down to level 1 now already. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. The other train stations we might realistically be able to take out there, not really. Okay. So yeah, again, I think that's what we're going to do. We're basically going to build this around the train station. Going to want one of those city stations with the metro. I don't think we're going to get past that. Must be placed roadside, of course. Finding a road for that is probably going to be the easier of the issues. can go in through there. Elevated, it should be able to come down here on time. Yeah, you know what? We're actually going to cross the road on this side. That just barely fits, doesn't it? But it just barely fits without anarchy, so... That said, we could turn some of these off. Where exactly is that train station going to fit? Oh, well, that kind of is, that's kind of the only spot, period. Um, how exactly are we going to hook up to the metro line? We're going to have to think about that. We may not at all, after all. So in fact, we're going to drop that station and go with just a simple single track station. Uh, 
that's the train station one style that's not what we're looking for that was the city station we just had glass narrow two i think that'll do just fine out in here and nice is that because this is track is elevated we can actually put our walking path to the point where it just comes down like in here somewhere and let's pull that back a little bit again if this is residential then we're obviously gonna if nothing else at least want to be able to walk to the train station that would kind of make some amount of sense but that's too tight though so we're gonna have to come in through here first things first though agua the Umbrella Corporation is doing the job that we hired them to do. They're actually doing it better than normal. Normally they don't actually build water, pi water pipes until half the people are already dead. Be it from that zombie plague they're developing somewhere on the side, or from just flat out, uh, we need water. we wind up building out a little bit further. We also need to think about how exactly this is all going to wind up connected. Train tracks are actually going to be the easiest part of this. Exactly, we're gonna have to hook up right there. And we may not even manage to get past that. Seriously, is that too close now all of a sudden? Is that what it's trying to tell us here? Because I will totally anarchy that in if we have to. Now, since we did have to anarchy that in, what we'll do first is set up the other road. Road, 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 road. Exactly, road. And, well, actually, that's ideal. <laughs> My first reaction was wrong. That is basically exactly how we want that road to run. The question is do we want to make this? in any way truly unique or do we just want to have this be like this this standard so to speak commercial district not in here oh no 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 no, no. we're totally anarchy in that end if you're going to give us two ways to head out from the train station we are sure as hell going to take them do see what the problem is though, why it was complaining, or at least why it should have been complaining, I don't know if it's actually why it was, but... Of course, again, this is going to be a pretty small commercial zone, but I think that should work fine, yeah. Train tracks again. Uh, 
Oh, we still have Anarchy on. That's one. And I put way too fast on that as well. Try this again. Put the right tool. And everything else. Yeah, no, I'm totally gonna say that's absolutely fine. That is just fine. Absolutely nothing to complain about there. So, let me set up this residential area. As well as traffic connections for this commercial. Yes, like that would be out. That would be in. That two-way road wouldn't work unless we did left-handed traffic on it, which isn't necessarily the way we want to go. <laughs> it's actually a good question, yeah. What what do we want to do in that spot? Hmm. Let me think, let me think. Um. Hmm. This is actually a bit of a, a bit of a conundrum. I maybe should have thought about this before we started drawing stuff in. Oh, that's right. But we, what we can do, we can definitely take our train line and just add a stop. And exactly while we'll add it, get rid of those inner city trains. Mm, you know what? Exactly. We'll just grab one of our six lane two ways we don't need it elevated though we'll actually build this a little bit further away from the highway than we normally do here. Here we should be able to... Excellent, excellent, excellent. Doesn't even need anarchy. Actually a bit surprised that that doesn't need anarchy, but that just about everything else did, but eh, we'll live. coming in much straighter. Also looks better. So, road connections. In, out. Uh, a missed video call? Okay. Why didn't my phone even ring? Oh well. These are, once again, our merging lanes. Ah, okay. That was the problem, because that node is so close. We'll pull that out a little bit. Yeah, that's still more than long enough. Should work fine. So once again, set up our merging lanes. So now they can get on and off, or they can get on to both directions. We need a way for them to get off from this side, though. I think we're going to take that. 
and pull it out like maybe somewhere in here. And then we're gonna have to do something similar over here, although over here we may actually... Well, we'll just stick with this small commercial area again. I get, I get a feeling a lot of this over here is still gonna wind up being low density residential. And we do have lots and lots and lots of commercial space already that we're not using. Basically only really made this commercial space because we're expecting Extra. our... our cars are more than just what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, yeah, because you just... because of the train station primarily, problems. actually. We also know it's what in the car that is more important than the car itself. And that's why it can also actually go to four-lane road here on the outside. The climate control device brings the air temperature to 20 degrees. Keep traffic in here. A little bit more under control. That said, again, it's going to be a low-density commercial zone, so there really shouldn't be too much of a problem. As soon as we start drawing in our crossroads, there might be one, and that's what we kind of want to avoid. Our animatronics are so real, you'll think a T-Rex is serving you T-Bone. A pterodactyl is serving you teriyaki. That a brontosaurus is serving you chili dogs. Every dish is an archaeological find. Like our Stegogeki, our Raptor Burger Rex, or the pile of crumbled sticky brownies adventurously named the Dino Droppings. So, take a trip into the this wild actually... at Dinosaurus. You can dine in or dine O. Oh. Let's hook up over to that side. What's up, y'all? It's your host. We don't expect all too many people to be using that yet. With the thought of the day. Wherever Nobody you live here yet, so they shouldn't be. Pause for a second and take in your surroundings. You can't set up our switching and merging lanes, careful, the days or our turning lanes, I should say. Relax. Gather yourself in this moment and let the feeling be sweeter still. Along with the sounds of the deep focus channel. It's actually really close to that, so they really definitely don't really need a metro in here. Because they can just get right over to here if they do need one. Or want one. So now again we need a way for them to get off. I think here we're going to go with one of those. We're actually going to take it off to the left for a change. Oh, you don't want to stop screwing with me. Seriously? That's... <laughs> it was telling me it was too low? Um, really? <laughs> Because the way I see this, we can just, like, take this out here and just totally not care. Yeah, that works just fine. Too low, seriously? Here we are going to need traffic light fixes, though. Probably gonna need them in here too, or does it not connect up these four lanes? No, these, interestingly enough, don't seem to automatically get a traffic light. Okay. Slightly curious, but not bothered. Um, just realizing though we may have an issue with that walking path we were thinking of, because there's no real place to connect it over on the other side. Although that said, they can really just walk through there, too. I think a walking path is probably going to make more sense going over that way. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Let's just get this drawn in first. Uh, yeah, we're going to want to go from here to there. Okay, then we'll go from here to there. Everything's still active. Yeah. No anarchy. Uh, 
that legitimately not high enough, or what's going on here? Okay, it seems to think it's legitimately not high enough. But we can definitely pull that down a little bit. Actually, more than just a little bit, we can pull it down quite a bit. Like here. to find two four lanes for emerging, of course. But as is more often than not the case, we had to anarchy it in. In fact, we can pull this node a little bit out. That shouldn't be too bad. We need ways for them to get off of their highway and get in there. swap lanes and still don't they? No they don't, so we'll give them one. Just right here in the middle. We'll add one more node. And that should give them the ability to switch lanes here. Just a hair. There, looks much better. Hmm. Why is that not a turning off lane? Sort of. Craft is this? Or is there a second node between there and there? No, absolutely not. I have to keep an eye on that. Because that may actually be broken for whatever reason. Okay, so residential's hooked up. That's hooked up. Yeah, now we need to start putting in the features, so to speak. Let's see if we can get any zoning along this road. Uh, just, just a little bit. Enough to actually make it worth it, just barely. I think I know what and see what might have been the problem. Uh, no, wait a sec. Actually, where was that problem? That was here. That's right. That uh, should be fine. We'll see. Mm, is this going to be large about for large enough for a roundabout through the middle? I don't think it will be, but we will go with a four lane. Connecting those. Set that up like that. Looks fine. Uh, we'll 
go from here, yeah. And try not to destroy too much zoning there. That will leave open on purpose. Sacks. Toss a few of those in. in spaces where we expect to have room. We have a zoning overlay. Uh, no, we do have a. Hmm. Zoning, zoning, zoning. I know there is a zoning overlay. The question is just can I find it? Traffic, pollution, noise, um, that's transport, population, that's not getting us anywhere, no, outside connections, land value, natural resources, districts, leisure, no, I really just want to see the zoning, preferably without Seriously, can, am I only going to be able to see that in the actual zoning overlay or what? Yeah. So, it's kind of pointless. Um, so in that case, we'll grab another one of these, turn it around here. actually too large, so we'll go with a normal large, we'll go with a medium, because we don't want to destroy all sorts of zoning over on the other side. So, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. Oh, one of these over here. Another one over here. Those will actually work just fine there together. We'll put that one right there in the middle. Oh, garbage. They should be sorted. Yeah, that's not a problem. Medical, that's a much different issue. Much, but either too much medical than not enough. Small fire department will do. Yeah, two small fire departments will do just fine. We'll put one in there and one over here for the police. Oh, now they want, they're going to want you wanting education back in here, of course. Classics. An elementary. Two elementaries and a high. Oh, that's right. And they're also going to want elder and child care. This may be a slightly bigger issue. Finding space for these. No, not really. Just put it right there. Child care right next to it. As soon as parks go in here, though, we're not going to really have any more room for citizens. Well, that said, they don't have to wind up with the huge ones. Well, it would be nice if we can still get one of those in somewhere. 
Uh, off towards the highway? I'm not too sure about that. Oh. Uh, why not? I mean, it does serve half the community and should slow down. Should solve at least some amount of noise issues by having that there. already be sorted. Still throw a large playground here in the middle though. I said we'll still throw a large playground here in the middle. <laughs> it doesn't really want to do that, does it? So we'll large playground next to the hospital in case the kids fall off the, fall off the swing set. <laughs> yeah, you know what's good? Put that right there. And just put like a doggy park maybe over here in this corner. And so now we can actually zone all of this into a new district. Elizabeth Heights is what it's now called. don't want. It's all commercial. Sorry for that one guy that already built his house there, but it's the way the cookie crumbles, my friend. And we need walking paths, exactly, before we forget them. <coughs> or rather, before they build so much that we can't put them in anymore. walking paths. Now, anarchy, that is just a little bit too much. Um, it will go Station. from here, though. Oh, we'll Bite take it from there. Seriously? That works as a walking path. Uh, okay. <laughs> If you say so. I wouldn't walk on that. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Going down it with a bicycle? Oh, fuck yeah, but uh, walk? No, no. Let's not and say we did. If you're looking for that relaxed vibe, search no further. I'm Deep Thought, and this is the Deep Focus Channel. Uh, and one more coming over here. Pull that down just a hair. I get a feeling I should probably swipe up and down in the chat just to make sure. I get a feeling we're actually probably even getting relatively close to our hour. Oh. Let's see what happens when this comes in. I 
have this nagging feeling that I'm forgetting something, but for the life of me, I can't figure out what. Oh, they're just, they're just slamming in, aren't they? Just literally one house after the next. Fast. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's exactly what we wanted. Mm. Oh, that's right, they have a walking path over there, so we don't really need one that way. I think these hospitals will have a, have a really, really interesting side profile. It's like like a like a ship anybody actually coming in though doesn't really look like it yet oh the traffic light oh and the first guy coming in but that's only garbage so not really sure that counts as someone moving in Traffic light patrol, of course. That should actually be most of them, if not all. Those small ones don't generally drop traffic lights on themselves. And we're still only up to... We're getting a thousand people a week moving in? Holy! Yeah, that's fast growth. A thousand people a week. That That's a number I don't think... I, I'm... Have I ever? Seriously, in like the, the, what? Little bit over, almost a year that I've been playing this game now. Because I did, I purchased it last year on Black Friday and Black Friday, as some of you know, is coming up uh, very soon. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever actually had a population, had a, had a four digit population growth. At least not without using some sort of cheat, like for example the unlimited mod or something like that, where you can just build the entire city, have it be free, and then just click a button and say, yeah, everybody move in now. And while that's also an interesting way to build a city, that's not really my style, so to speak, because the problem is what you you lose. I feel that when you when you when you do that, when you just kind of like so to speak, drop in a prefab city and tell people, yeah, just move in. I feel it kind of removes the personality, so to speak, from a lot of the parts of your city that you're, where you're really going to have a chance to really do something like unique because, yeah, uh, we suddenly have that, we suddenly have that. Um, then again, that said, unless you're God, <laughs> Uh, that's actually a pretty, pretty good way also to, to just basically guarantee that you're going to have some sort of traffic issues, be it pedestrian, be it commercial, be it industrial. Um, yeah, and I did say pedestrian on purpose, I did not mean residential. But, exactly, pedestrian, just because that'll then force you to, like, create bridges and things like that. That's the Statue of Industry. Put that in a long time ago. Part of the part of the fun of these cinematics is trying to figure out which of, <laughs> which part of the city you're actually in, and that's actually part of the ah because we're following him and we just suddenly didn't have a high rise underneath us anymore. Um, that's actually part of the, part of the f reason that we're going to eventually want to really start downloading uh, different themes and activating them and really applying them to the individual districts, just so that. Literally, like on a on a run like this, you can actually at least have a have a somewhat reasonable chance to figure out where you are. And welcome, Champ X193. Hello, and welcome to the channel. So, is there a traffic? There's a traffic light there. Why is there a traffic light there? Is that even here? Uh, we're gonna have to. 
No, that's definitely not here. We're gonna have to go search for that, I'm afraid. We may not even be able to find it reasonably fast. Although that said, it's almost guaranteed to be on one of our in one of our newer districts. Because most of those most of the ones before that actually don't have those four lane roads. Uh, for the most part, traffic should actually be looking somewhat reasonable. Yeah, 82%. We haven't done too much um, since culling back to 130k population in, in the way of traffic fixes, though. Definitely something we're, we're going to have to take a look at. Well, maybe not the next one or two episodes. We really want to still try and get these, get these problems solved first. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely still something we want to take a look at. Um, that said, since you're, if I remember right, basically completely new to the stream, um, we originally had al had over 250k people already. And, you know, we, we basically evicted them all. Because we just had such a high buildup. This was already super high rises. And we already had high rises and high density back in here. And yeah, basically the, <laughs> the the real important thing is that there was absolutely no difference between these two speeds. I mean, right now it's not a huge difference between one and three, but it's, it's still the kind of difference where if you look on the highway, they're at least moving a little bit faster or a little bit slower. But yeah, again, traffic, as I just said, is... A, a, um, oh, that's right. Do we still have despawning off? No, we don't. We still actually have it on, just for the for the time being, where we're trying to regrow. Um, just out of curiosity, though. Ah, okay. Another three minutes. That explains that. I was, I was just wondering why the alarm hadn't already gone off, because I felt like we'd already been here for more than an hour. But I think I started a little bit, a little bit late last episode. Uh, last hour. Um, anything though that we could really specifically fix? I mean, while we're on the topic of traffic, we can just... Um, that actually looks worse than it is. Although we may still... Lights in here? No, but there's apparently a crosswalk over there that's causing a bit of grief. Not really though. Take a closer look at that when it actually becomes a problem. That said, it's just this mini commercial area and, and some of the traffic here is just basically going through. But it's not really that bad because most of what's in here is, is either offices or the Umbrella Waterworks, which, yeah, they, they stand alone, so. But once these industries finally get back in, that's where we're really gonna start seeing our traffic become a bit more of a problem, probably even go down to like 78% or so when people are have finally stabilized and everything. And that's when we're really going to start taking a look at major changes, I say, I'm going to say. Because while we do have some, some, uh, some, yeah, some spots that are a little bit horky, there's nothing that's really causing a major issue so far. Whoa, uh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> uh, PC specs, I'm running a Ryzen 3600. And still running my old um, GeForce 1060 with 3 gigs. For this game, that's obviously not a problem. Uh, but I do have 32 gigs of RAM, which definitely help with all the mods and DLCs. Um, yeah, so why is that actually that bad all of a sudden? This is from this harbor. Ah, I see what's happening. The people trying to come back are basically getting in the way of the people coming out. Because they're trying to switch over here, and they're, of course, trying to go over to the other side. So we can actually fix that relatively easily. The question is just where do we want... Yeah, I think we'll want to put just, just filter them in back up here. It's gonna extend their their journey a little bit, but it should improve traffic flow. We still have all this off from building paths. Come 
here and then just curve around again. And yeah, that's the one hour alarm going off. Space already occupied. Why space already occupied? I'll give you space already occupied. Oh. That should help that to flow much better. And here we're getting a similar problem, although the cross traffic from that other industry area really isn't that heavy. Oh no, that's actually red. That's a commercial zone, okay. Yeah, but again, it's not that heavy that it's causing major issues. And this is now flowing much more nicely. Although they may still have a problem getting out. Um, although this one actually only comes in, so that actually should work. Yeah, it's definitely already working much better. They can just flow out much more freely. And since the chance of one of them wanting to come in here is, is basically zero, because they just got their good, they just came from here, and that's the only way this road goes, is actually out to this tunnel. They shouldn't actually... Uh, okay, that may be an, an intermittent thing. We'll let it run for a few minutes before we end the episode. And then we'll know more. Because while the first impression was that it was much improved, um, yeah, basically we just moved the problem the way it seems right now. But again, let's just let it run for a few minutes. Until everybody's updated their pathfinding. Yeah, and now it's just gonna move the, the, the unblockage, so to speak, is just going to move further and further back. That said, we may still want to ban traffic on the outside lanes here, just so that we get four lanes basically for traffic moving through and just one extra lane for people doing deliveries, and that should actually slightly alleviate this as well. What is, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> what are you guys smoking? I think we may need to take out that recreational use policy. This is not we're doing too well for our truck drivers. <laughs> ah, yeah, but now it's mostly flowing. Not getting the, the huge gumming up that we were. Yeah, much better. So, with that one last fix, I hope you guys have enjoyed what you've seen. If you have, please feel free to like and subscribe on YouTube or to follow me on Twitch. And yeah, as usual, you guys have been great. I've been Zerb, and I'll see you next episode. Cheers!